Hey everyone, I have been doing uh, videos on immune health. Everybody knows how critical that is, especially during this time of making sure that you keep yourself healthy and taking your uh, taking responsibility for your own health because nobody else is going to do that. So you need to to know how to keep yourself healthy. And so I've been talking about tips and tricks to help you boost your immune health. And one of the things I want to talk to you, or the thing I want to talk to you about today is lavender oil, and it really helps to prevent disease. And one of the ways that it does that is it helps by, it actually boosts your white blood cell count. And that helps to help you fight disease and infection, so that's really important. And another way it helps you to boost your immune health is it really boosts those uh, powerful antioxidants in your body that you produce, and it boosts glutathione, it, blue, it boosts catalase, and superoxide dismutase, or SOD, SOD for short. So it boosts those powerful antioxidants in your body, and it helps to reduce that uh, oxidative stress in your body, in, uh, reducing inflammation, and thereby helping you to fight disease and helping you to stay healthy. Um, another thing, and what people are most uh, familiar with, with lavender, is that it actually is very calming for you. It helps to keep you calm. It's anti-anxiety, anti-stress. It actually helps to lower cortisol levels. Um, it just helps to boost your mood, mood, your mood and keep you calm and de-stressed. Um, it also helps you to sleep at night. So one of the good things to do is to always have a diffuser around um, in those key areas in your home so that you always have uh, your essential oils, lavender oils, um, that you can um, have diffused throughout the day in your home or in your office areas. Lavender also helps with neurological disorder, disorders. It helps with if you have any cognitive impairment, the lavender helps to improve that and heal it. It also helps, say you've had a stroke and any uh, cognitive impairment that, that the stroke may have caused, it helps you to recover quicker from that if you're um, using the lavender essential oil. Another thing that uh, a lavender essential oils will do for you is it helps with wound healing and cuts and abrasions and burns. So if you just rub a little bit, um, along with a carrier oil, and just in case you're sensitive to it, like coconut oil, and you rub it on those burns or cuts um, or abrasions, it will help to heal it quicker and it will also take the pain away as well. So that, it's a good use for that. It's an antifungal and an antibacterial. So there's been studies shown that it will heal MRSA, Staph, uh, and also Candida. So it's great for antibacterial and um, antifungal purposes. Another thing that lavender is great for is for the health of your skin and for your hair. So um, if you have like, it, and also great for anti-aging, anti-aging. So if you have like allergies, uh, that your skin breaks out in allergies or acne, you can use a little bit, um, a couple drops of lavender oil along with coconut oil again and rub it into those areas and it will help to heal it quicker. Um, as well as it's also great for anti-aging as I mentioned. So for like fine wrinkles and some inflammation and dark skin spots, uh, rub that along with some jojoba oil. I used to say jojoba, no, it's jojoba. Um, and uh, maybe some pomegranate oil, frankincense, myrrh, you can add all those together in a mixture, put that in your face in the morning and in the evenings, and it will help to improve your skin, the appearance of your skin, and is a great anti-ager. So another thing that you can use it for is your hair as well, like I said. There was a study done that shown that for alopecia, it helped to restore, uh, uh, restore hair growth up to 44% if you were using a lavender oil, rubbing it, massaging it into your scalp. So you can add it to your like conditioner or leave-in conditioner even, put a little bit into that and use it to rub into your scalp and massage into your scalp and it will help to heal your scalp and uh, improve hair growth so that you can grow back your hair. It also reduces pain. So if you're having like tension headaches, it will take away tension headaches. So you can rub it into your temples or into um, like back here behind your ears on those pulse points and it helps to take away those tension headaches. Um, so some great ways to use it, which I've already mentioned some of them. 
but rubbing it into your temples or into the pulse points behind your ears and uh, on your wrists, diffusing it, putting it in the key points in your household or your office where you're going to be, uh, putting it into your bath, um, like seven to 10 drops along with Epsom salt in your bath is very healing and relaxing for when you go to sleep at night. You can rub it into a little few couple of drops into the bottom of your feet. It absorbs most quickly through your skin and is the best way to do it. You want to have a pure oil, so 100% pure essential oil is best. Therapeutic, uh, organic if you can get it, so you just want to be sure that you have a pure quality oil. So I hope you guys found that uh, useful and beneficial today. Uh, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys next time.